Adventures of Captain Jay and, and friends. <sighs> Captain Jay and Tiki, we're feeling a little sad. A little, a little bit blue. You ever feel that way, right? One day you're happy, dancing around, having fun, and the next it's kind of sad and blue. I think we're just sick of being cooped up in the ship. We miss our friends, visiting with everyone around, and... We just don't feel like ourselves. I wish there was something to do around here, maybe. Something we could get up and get excited about, but Captain Jay just doesn't feel it. I'm feeling very, very blue. What do you do when you feel blue? Is there anything that picks up your spirits and really gets you back into the groove of things? It's kind of tough to handle, isn't it, all these emotions? Happy, sad, angry, frustrated, confused, people wearing masks, and you've got a quarantine, and you can't visit with friends or family. Some people can't go to school or work. It's tough. It really is tough. Well, what are we going to do about it, Tiki? Hmm? Oh, I know. Let's see here. We got this sent to us. Maybe this will help. It's called Mike and His Pet Monkey Presents I'm Feeling Blue by Sadie Gardner. Sadie Gardner. This is a, a kid's book about being sad, which, what do you know? We're pretty sad right now. Maybe this will help us out. What do you think? Hmm. All right, Tiki, yeah. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? One day, Mike said to his monkey, Monty, I'm feeling so blue. I wonder, do you have any idea of anything that I could do? The monkey just shrugged and said, do something fun, like play with your toys or go for a run. Mike said, those things are boring. I do them every day. I need something that's new and exciting to help chase the blues away. You don't need to be sad, said the monkey. There are lots of things we can do, like listen to beautiful music or visit the local zoo. We could fly a kite or roll down a hill. I can be Jack and you can be Jill. <laughs> Those are ideas are good. I might try them out. Mike jumped up smiling at Monty, giving a scream and a shout. I'm not feeling sad now like I was before, Mike said with a smile and then went out the door. So Mike and his pet monkey went to the zoo. Monty met with some friends, but still he felt blue. They live in enclosures and are treated swell, but I can't see them often, so I'm quite sad as well. Mike said, Monty, everyone sometimes feels blue, not just little kids, but monkeys do too. Ha <laughs> ha. I have some sweets and I'll share them with you. I know we'll enjoy them. Then you won't be blue. They reached an agreement and thought it was neat. They'd have lots of fun so the blues would be beat. So when one of them said, I'm feeling blue, they'd find an activity that they both loved to do. Mike wanted to go outside and play, but the rain was pouring down. I'm sick of being stuck inside. I feel blue, he said with a frown. Let's watch cartoons and play Lego, Monty the monkey said. That will be a lot of fun until it's time for bed. Sometimes Mike felt sad and wanted to cry. It was hard to explain and he didn't know why. Whenever Mike was feeling blue, Monty tried to cheer him up. One day he played a prank on him and put a green frog in his cup. Mike loved his iPad and eating mac and cheese. Monty loved peanuts and climbing up trees. So if Mike felt sad and they'd do what he'd choose and 
what Monty wanted if he had the blues. Sometimes Mike felt down and sad. I'm feeling blue. Monty would jump out and shout loudly, Boo! It's okay to feel sad and even cry if you must, but things will get better. In that, you can trust. The end. Wow, that explains a lot about being sad, doesn't it? It's okay to be sad and cry if you're that sad, but there's always something out there that will make us happy. You know, now that I think of it, reading this story kind of helped chase the blues away, and I think in order to maybe chase them even further away, I could spend time with my friend Tiki here. Much like Mike and his pet monkey, I have Tiki here to keep me happy and smiling. <laughs> wow, I feel much better. Oh, you know what would be great? Is if we could meet the author of this book, this Sadie Gardner. Hmm, let's see. Um, I bet we could probably uh, get her on here, can't we? Let's get her on the show, shall we? Let's ask her some questions. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if we can. Ahoy, Sadie. Welcome aboard. It's so nice to have you here with us to talk about your books. Can you tell us a little bit about you and your stories that you create? Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm an author from London and I've just released my first book series called Mike and His Pet Monkey. There are currently three books out at the moment, but there'll be many more to come. All right, and your characters that you have here, uh, Mike and Monkey, are they uh, inspired by real people or did you create them out of your imagination uh, all by yourself? My and his pet monkey are completely inspired by my imagination. I wanted to create a cheeky talking monkey that helps his best friend Mike through his childhood years and is always there for him. Darn, I was really hoping monkey was a real monkey and that you might have access to the monkey market. You see, oh, you need another monkey on board the ship since the accident with the last one. Well, anyways, <laughs> uh, could you tell us maybe what your favorite part about being an author, a book writer is? My favourite part about being an author is creating fun and engaging stories for children all around the world that will teach them valuable life lessons. And uh, last but not least, of course, any advice you might give these young folk uh, that might want to be authors just like you on their adventure and creating and making their own stories? My advice would be to have fun with it, get creative, nothing is too silly and just let your imagination run wild and most importantly, never give up. Now, before we go, of course, how can we get your books? How do we acquire all of your stories and fantastic little characters here? You can purchase all of my books on Amazon and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with my up and coming books. Excellent, excellent. We'll, we'll put all the links down in the show notes for you if you're interested in getting uh, Sadie's books. She has multiple. Well, Sadie, I must say, I'm so happy you were able to join us for this week's show. Uh, thank you so much for the book. It was a pleasure and a delight to read it to our friends, and hopefully it helps them. I was feeling really blue before we sat down and read your story, so I feel much better now. Uh, thank you again for coming, and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy sailing to you too. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. All right. Bye. Guys, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my books, Captain J and the Misfit Crew and Captain J and the Perfect Pet, both available on barnesandnoble.com, wordery.com, and amazon.com. We'll see you next time.